So Google just dropped the December update a week later for the Pixel 6 series. And I'm seeing a lot of people that are having issues um, downloading the software. So uh, what Google normally does, and, and I'm not necessarily the biggest fan, um, they do like over the air updates the same way that Apple and all other manufacturers do. Uh, but a lot of the times they'll be staggered. And what that means is some regions will get it sooner than others. It's not like a, you know, 1 p.m. everybody just refresh. But there is a quicker way to get it if you're willing to do just a teeny bit of work, I promise. It's a lot more simple than it sounds, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys from start to finish the entire process. But if this is your first time stopping by the channel, this is Ike's Tech Talk, where we cover the latest in tech news, reviews, and discussion. If that's something that you're interested in, do yourself a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, guys, so here we go with the tutorial. So long story short, we're gonna make this as easy and as simple as possible. It's gonna seem kind of complicated. You might hear people talking about it and it might seem like it's a little complicated, uh, but like I said, I'm here to kind of simplify the process and make it easy. You can also use this every month with any over the air update that comes out for the Pixel, which is always good in my opinion. So to go ahead and get things started, um, I put some links down in the description. We're gonna go ahead and get those open. So there's gonna be two links there. You're gonna need to go to both sites. Now, for the first one, uh, we actually have, this is the SDK platform. This is what you're gonna use uh, in order to do the whole ADB and, and all of that. Um, also, I am gonna show you guys this on Mac, being as though I am a Mac user. Uh, if you're looking for how to install the platform tools for Windows, I'll make sure that I include um, a great video tutorial that I found on YouTube when I was trying to set this up on my Windows PC. So I'll make sure I drop that down in the description. Um, you can, like I said, check out that video to download the tools, then circle back to this video so that way you can know what commands to use to get the over the air um, updates to actually run. So. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and download the platform tools. So you're gonna go ahead and click, I'm obviously using Mac. You're gonna scroll down, their terms and conditions, you already know how that goes, nobody reads that stuff. And we're gonna hit download. Download there is gonna start. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to 9 to 5 Google, shout out to them. They're always on point whenever Google gets those factory images and over the air files and all that stuff out. We're gonna go ahead, Pixel 6 Pro, I'm in the US. You got the factory image and you're over the air. I always use the over the air. I don't uh, necessarily use the factory image unless I'm trying to say restore my device or completely wipe it. I use the over the air file. You're gonna click that and it's gonna download that as well. Now I wanted it to download kind of in the background because it is a pretty big file at 1.9 gigabytes. Um, so we're gonna leave that running in the background. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna drag it here onto my um, desktop here. It's just easier to play around with. So we're gonna go ahead, minimize that. Now I'm gonna double click this and it's going to extract this platform uh, tools folder here. I'm gonna go ahead and move that to trash. We no longer need that. Now what I'm gonna do from here is actually open up a finder window. Um, now once you open up Finder, I tend to do it this way just because it makes everything a little bit easier when you're trying to mess around with the commands. And I've also built a cheat sheet. So if you follow, like I said, these tips and tricks and you have the cheat sheet, it's gonna make it super simple when you're trying to do this say next month or two months down the line. So you're gonna come here in Finder, on the left side, hit Applications, and you'll see I've already created one here and it's called Android. You're gonna create a folder called Android. Now once you create that folder, you're gonna double click into it. You can see I've already done it, but there's gonna be two files that I'm gonna want you to take from this platform tools folder to put here on the Android side. Now the only ones that we're going to be dealing with is ADB and Fastboot. ADB here and then Fastboot right there. So literally the same two files, you'll just pull them from this file and you'll import them over here to your Android folder. Once you go ahead and do that, we can close out of that. And to be 100% honest, you can even take this platform tools folder and completely delete it. We no longer need it. Now, once you've done this part, essentially the kind of hardest part is, is, is pretty much done. I, I would say like that's probably the most complicated part. 
So once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave this be, and we're gonna come over to the phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my picture and picture window. And as you can see, I got my Pixel 6 Pro, had a couple of tries to get in with the fingerprint sensor from the always on display. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble with that too, just kind of side tangent, with the always on display using a fingerprint sensor, but from the lock screen, no issues. Kind of weird, but anyway. Uh, so as you can see, Pixel 6 Pro. Now what we're gonna wanna do is obviously head into the settings, scroll all the way down, gonna go ahead and head to about phone, that build number, you already know what to do. Tap that until you become a developer. Obviously no need, I am a developer. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this. I just showed my, I think my IMEI by accident. Don't do nothing. <laughs> um, head over to system, developer options, and then from here, we're going to look for USB debugging. You're gonna make sure that you go ahead and have USB debugging checked. Once you check that, you can swipe up. Then we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Pixel 6 Pro. So give me one second. All right, so Pixel 6 Pro is now plugged in, so we're good to go there. Now once we have that plugged in, I'm gonna come back over to the PC side, and the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna minimize that, and I'm literally just going to Spotlight Search, and I'm gonna load Terminal. <clears throat> All right, so. Now, once you load terminal, you're gonna get this screen here. Now, we're not done. We can't just start typing commands and, and things like that. So what I'm gonna do, bring over my cheat sheet here for you guys to see. Now, what we have to do is get terminal to point to the directory of our Android folder. And I already have it set right here. We're gonna copy that and I'm literally just gonna paste it here and hit enter. Now, once you do that, you'll see exactly what I see here. We are now working in that Android folder. Awesome, we are exactly where we need to be. Now, we're gonna go ahead, copy this one right here. Now, for you Windows users out there, this is probably where you're gonna notice the biggest difference. On Windows, from what I remember, you don't have to include uh, the dot and the forward slash. That is only a Mac terminal thing. So you will just do ADB reboot recovery, no dot forward slash. So once we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Oh, Damon started successfully, obviously, because I didn't have it running. And once you go ahead and hit that and the Damon itself is running, it'll kick your device, as you can see here, into this screen where you see kind of a funky looking um, Android logo and a no command. Once you see this, you are okay. Don't worry, you didn't break your device, nothing like that. Now here's the part where I really want you guys to listen carefully. Listen extremely carefully. And even listen before you actually try to do it yourself. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press and hold the power button, and while pressing and holding the power button, we're gonna tap the volume up button. One time, you don't need to hold the volume up button. So let me say that one more time. Press and hold power, tap the volume up. All right, let's go ahead and do it together. So press and hold, volume up, and then you can let it go. It's gonna bring you to this screen here. I'm gonna try to get that in focus for you guys. Now, when you get to this screen, you are on the money. Now, as you can see, there is an option, gotta move it to me, uh, that says apply update from ADB. Apply update from ADB. Use your volume triggers here to move throughout the menu, and when you're ready to select, just go ahead and hit that power button. Now, what you're gonna see is a little bit of writing, I'm gonna try to get that in focus for you guys, a little bit of writing down there. That's perfect, that's exactly what we wanna see. Once you see this text, that means that the phone is waiting for you to sideload the file over to uh, terminal, which will then push it over to the device. So, I'm gonna go ahead and sit this down, and we're gonna go ahead and head back to the computer. Now, here comes the fun part. Let me head back over to Chrome to make sure that our file downloaded, which it did. I'm gonna move that out here first. All right, so we have our over-the-air file. This is literally just the same over-the-air file that we downloaded here. We're gonna go ahead, minimize this. Now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this folder here, and we're gonna move it to that Android uh, folder that we did not too long ago. So if you open up Finder, you go to Applications, double-click your Android folder right here. 
This step is vital. You have to have the over the air update in this folder or this process will not work. All right. So what you're going to want to do, the easiest way that I know to do this, just to go ahead and do, um, do it this way where you highlight it and then you can copy it from there. Then you're going to come here and you're going to use this last command right here. So what this is going to look like, I'm not going to copy it from the cheat sheet because I want you guys to see exactly what this looks like. So it's going to be period forward slash ADB and it's going to be, if I could spell, side load. And then here you're going to do control V. All right. And it's going to look just like this. Now, once you go ahead and hit enter, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up here. Once you go ahead and hit enter, you'll see that the process, let me bring that, the process has started. Now what you'll see here, you'll see where it says verifying update package. That's exactly what you want to see. It's going to take it some time. So be patient on your terminal window. If you look, you can see that percentage bar. So it's at 6%, 7%, all of that. Now you're going to let this process run its course. It can take it a little bit of time. So like I said, guys, just sit tight. I will be back as soon as this process is completed. So back in a flash. All right, guys. So as you see here, it has completed. You'll see at that bottom where it says install from ADB was completed with a status of zero. You want that to be zero. So as long as that completed, you have literally did it. You are good to go. You literally see that first option that says reboot system there at the top. We're going to go ahead and hit that power button to select that. And it's going to reboot your device and you will be on that latest December patch. Now, while this is rebooting, I want to reiterate again, you can use this for any over the air file. You can even use it, even though the commands I think are a little bit different. I'm not 100 percent sure for the factory image. And as you saw, it honestly didn't take all that long. It took it maybe five minutes or so. So look at it from that perspective. Also, you don't have to sit through that whole optimizing application screen when you're doing the over the air and as you can see the device just rebooted so overall the process as a whole maybe took us from start to finish maybe about you know five minutes or ten minutes or so so it's significantly faster to do it this way versus doing it the traditional over the air method because again you don't have to wait for the whole optimizing apps or any of that stuff man and like I said you're back in the device you guys are going to see my pen and that's perfectly fine <laughs> and you're going to be good to go. So like I said, guys, that is doing the whole side loading over the air process substantially faster, substantially cleaner. I've never had any issues with breaking a device doing this or anything like that. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. All right, guys. So that was the method to side load over the air files to your pixel of any choice. And just keep in mind, you can use these same steps and commands any month for any over the air update google always posts the over the air updates normally around the same time so you can always be among the first to get that latest security update for your pixel device but that's going to do it for the video today guys as always thank you so much for watching this is ike's tech talk i'll catch you all in the next video peace out guys